The rematch between Anthony Joshua and Dillian White is off. It's been reported that White has returned adverse analytical findings as part of a random anti-doping protocol. So I'm in training camp for the rematch against Dillian White. It's a fight that captured the public's imagination. It was definitely going to be a good fight. Five days or ten days before the fight, we got randomly drug tested and these anti-doping tests came back and they found, I don't know what it is, but they found something in his, maybe his blood sample or his urine sample that suggests that he has been taking performance enhancing drugs and he will now be uh, dismissed from fighting me August 12th. For every day of my life, since 2011, I've had to let the agency know where I'm gonna be at a certain point of the day every single day of my life they know where I'm going to be so you've got to be on your P's and Q's about it because if you say you're going to be somewhere and you're not that goes down as a missed test and three of those missed tests you'll be bound for life so that that part's in a situation now where I'm in camp and I'm like okay so where does that leave me because I'm like five days ten days away from competing like do I just stop now I haven't got an opponent do I take a holiday like where do I leave myself like, look, we've got to stay focused, stay on task. It just is what it is, it's happened. Um, and I just got to keep it moving, you know, on to the next. Robert Hellenius, that's my new focus. Right, two very good, very experienced heavyweights. Anthony Joshua will face off against Robert Hellenius on Saturday night at the O2, live and exclusive on the zone around the world. A huge undercard as well. I didn't know what the reaction would necessarily be. It was definitely the one that I hoped for, which is no, no. I've put the work in. I'm ready to fight on Saturday. Yeah, so I also looked at the undercard as well, and I know how much it means for them to compete. I know how hard you guys work, not only you, I know all of your backroom staff as well, so I didn't want to let anyone down, my coach, etc., the zone. So it's kind of like a responsibility. Late replacements aren't ideal. This is what happens. A long career will present these type of obstacles, and I've just got to get used to them. So yeah, this is just another, another rock in my shoe. On to, uh, towards the top of the mountain. The objective remains the same, is victory by any means. And, you know, there's no overtime in boxing, so I've got to be on my A game and uh, inflict pain to get the victory. Get ready for a huge show on Saturday night. We're going to face off these fighters and we'll see the media shortly. Good luck. Good luck. Is that? Chino's gonna come out. You <laughs> we were talking about him. We had his uncle today. 18 years old. I was putting in work. Are you on it? Huh? Are you on it? Was it safe? 100 pounds. 100 pounds in a stash. I didn't want to know what. Hey, it's what? Classic. Hey, are you mad, lad? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. That's me, bro. Oh my God. Hey, hey. Hey. See me in my shirt, they'll think I never done dirt. I was 18 years old, I was putting in work. 100 bags in the stash, I don't really give a fuck. I don't have a fucking bank, all I've got is cash. Hey! Ah ha ha! Ah ha ha! Oi! Nah! He's gonna. Nah! To walk off the fucking heat. I'm telling you. Oh my day. Shut up. Bro. Is that me? Do you hear the lyrics? I want to be able to show everything he's been working on. I know that's what he wants to do. And at the same time, I want him to show his development and how much he's been developing as a fighter. And, uh, and how that will help him go further in the long run. Not so fast. It's like, like you're just doing it slow. Do it with your eyes open. Do it with your eyes open. Oh, I'm boxing. 
Yeah. This would have been me. Hyde Park on a Saturday night. Yeah, I'll get back to work on Monday, do you know what I mean? Yeah, down at the site. And the Josh was fine Saturday, ain't he? Yeah, fucking, have you heard about his fucking, that white fella? Fourth time I heard on Talk Sport. Boxing, eh? Gone are the days when it was credible, do you know what I mean? Tell you what, I just moved to MMA. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. We had a long camp. He's been in Dallas. He's in Dallas for like five and a half weeks. And then we went to Vegas for three and here for two. So we've been, been together for like maybe like 10 to 12 weeks. So it's been a long camp. exciting than usual but yeah that's the way it's done another day thanks for tuning in stay locked for more content behind the scenes and we're wrapping up